Welcome back to Atlantic Fleet with the Kriegsmarine. Here we are in week 1.5 of June 1940. Whew, we're doing okay. We're uh, winning the tonnage war. We can have a look at the report and you can see we are clearly winning the tonnage war. We're currently sinking 245,000 tons, thousand tons a month, uh, which is seeing us quite quickly on the road to victory. However, that was never our ultimate first goal. Our first goal was to allow Britain to survive so the Americans joined. That will then make the game a lot harder for us where we have to sink far more tonnage because obviously the American ships will be coming across and resupplying the UK and of course we'll have the American war machine in action as well. So what we are probably going to do is make some gaps in the in the area around here. So we've got U27 here got 14 torpedoes that's good um, we've got U28 here she's got 14 torpedoes let's get um, U27 over to U28 and then uh, we've got U43 here as well she's got 17 torpedoes uh, probably that is going to be a nice place to to hunt so um, I'm also going to bring U29 10 torpedoes. Let's bring her over here. Uh, we'll leave those two at the moment. And what we're going to do, we're going to put th three subs here and maybe three here. Just try and catch them on the end. But there's still gaps for them to get through. Now, on the Denmark straight and round here, I think we'll pair a couple of these up. Um, yeah, move, move you from Reykjavik and move you over to the Denmark straight. Trying to get anyone going that way. Um, yes, I know there's gaps, but that's the whole point. That is the whole point. We're trying to free up some some space. Now, we've also got the Gneisenau, the Prince Eugen, and the Karlsruhe here because we had the uh, HMS Hood taking some uh, damage, and she's going to have to limp back to port. Now, she may decide to go on to America, uh, but she may also decide to come back down to... or try and get back down to... Um, Portsmouth or one of the big go. Uh, even Gibraltar perhaps, maybe dock up there. We'll have to see. Uh, and that's the case. What have we got here? U41. She's got 17 torpedoes. Um, I might bring her up here as well. We'll get maybe these two paired up in the med just in case she goes to Alexandria. All these things are possibilities, right? Boom. Here we go. The Western approaches. Sadly, we've only got U-43 here at the moment. The other two subs will be making their way. Um, we have running into the light cruiser Birmingham again. The light cruiser uh, Nyad? Nyad? I don't know. Uh, large freighter and the C-3 freighter as well. Ooh, if we get a nice light cruiser here, that'll certainly uh, start the, the week off well. Okay, here's, here we are then. Periscope up. Um, there's the C3 transport. There's the other transport. There is the Birmingham. That looks like the Birmingham. Because I noticed the silhouette. There we go. This is a Dido class cruiser. Very good for anti aircraft, which is okay. Right, so let's move forward. Birmingham is over there. 6,000. It's not a great angle. Uh, torpedo solution of 40.3 if we want to have a pop. Right, I'm going to fire two at you here. Two at her. She's Because she's probably going to turn. And then we'll fire two at the uh, Nyad. Nyad? Oh, I have no idea how you pronounce that. Um, torpedo solution of 346.2. Three, four, six point. I can't. There you go. Got it. Right, we'll spread them out a little bit. Fire. Speed us away. If we get two light cruisers. That would be amazing. But I doubt it's going to happen. Yep. Birmingham's turning. Still looking good though. Oh, the Nyad's gone. Bloody camera looking at the wrong place. 
The naiad's gone. Nice. One light cruiser. She's just a huge destroyer, basically. Slipping beneath the waves already. Look at that. Look at that. Beautiful. Yeah, Dido is such an easy ship to recognise with the three turrets like that. Oh, she was able to dodge one. We don't have a torpedo yet. So just have to pass on this. Birmingham's sailing away. How far away is she now? Eight thousand. Okay, let's um, let's disengage. We we're not going to catch them. We're not going to catch them. But we were able to do some damage. U forty three was able to lightly damage the light cruiser Birmingham, and sink the light cruiser Nyad for five thousand six hundred tons. The two freighters got away scot free, but panicking. We've mentally wounded them, if nothing else. Right. Good. 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 Right. So that was there. We're going to move these two U-boats to the western approaches now. And I'm going, to, I'm going to move these two over here as well. Um, I've noticed that there was no battleship turning up, i.e. the hood. So I'm going to move the Gnais now there. And then we may pop up there to see if we can get up there. Maybe a no, I'll leave the Collinsburg. I'll leave those guys there. I'll move U41 into the med here. Meanwhile, around the Azor Islands, Allied convoy attacked by submarines. 55,370 tons of merchant shipping was sunk. And at the Canary Isles, Allied convoy attacked by warships. 71,280 tons of merchant shipping sunk. Meanwhile, in the Western Mediterranean Sea, Allied merchants attacked by submarines, 39,940 tons of merchant shipping sunk. So even not even passively, we are destroying hundreds of thousands of tons worth of sh tonnage. Huh. We're just too good. What can I say? We're just too good. I'll move those into the Western approaches for the time being. I think the hood's probably snuck away. Look, look, we're just marching on now. I don't think Britain's got anything left, unfortunately. Which could really um, scupper our our goal here. We may have to send everything back into port <laughs> just to just to um, buy the Brits some time here. Uh, what am I looking for? Okay, we don't have a port in on Italy, which I thought we might do for a moment. Okay, that's fine. Nothing much happening. We move into the end of week 3.5, June 1940. In Norway, German forces successfully occupy Norway. Norwegian ports at Bergen, Trondheim and Narvik are now in use. Nice. Meanwhile, in the Denmark Strait, U-44 and U-64 have uh, spotted the destroyer Vendetta on her own. Could be her last mistake. Alright, we'll move forward. And let's see where there's. U64 is in a much better position to fire, so we'll hold off here. Here's U64, right. Slight 10 to starboard. Are we going to hold? Oh, she may spot us. Let's keep, keep coming in there. Turn her face. How far away is she now? 4,600, right. I think we'll put out a couple of torpedoes. 347.4. She's there. I think I'm putting one there just in case she turns to port. Fire two. Just in case. Oh, 
Oh, they both missed. Both narrowly missed. Oh my goodness me. Well, we just kind of sold ourselves up there, didn't we? Um, harder port then. There we go. We've got two more. Right, 358.8. Point seven, there we go. We're gonna fire one. They went a lot further than I thought. Ah, oh. rubbish. Right, we should be just dead on reckoning then. Well, that was a little bit wasteful for a small target, but we got there in the end. Just about. <laughs> so, U-64 sinks the Vendetta for 1,300 tons and makes one hell of a job of it. Meanwhile, in the Western Approaches, Gneisenau's group with the Prince Eugen heavy cruiser, light cruiser Karlsruhe and the destroyer Z-18 have come across the convoy, being escorted by one... Very anxious now, destroyer the Ivanhoe. Okay, fill your boots, boys. Fill your boots. Here we are. It's night time. Uh, where are they? They're ahead of us, are they? Don't see them. Must be there. Right. Uh, we'll go to starboard. Let's get secondary and let's fire up some star shells because I can't see. Diddly squat. There they are. Right. Heavy cruiser Prince Eugen, you continue to steal the march forward. Ah, there they're coming into view now. Right, you can see the Ivanhoe, so you might as well give her a volley. Elevation of 7.9. Wind's in our face, so we're going to go 8.2. And we're short now. Light cruiser Carl Shrew. Uh, we'll get some more star shells in the sky, I think. And the destroyer again. Star shells. Star shells that is the name of the game, and I wanna play the game with you. Lovely. Oh, torpedoes in the water. Oh, hello. She's feisty. Good going. Okay, I like a feisty destroyer. <laughs> Uh, they are probably at. It's probably not at the um, the guys now. It's probably at the Ivanhoe here. Right there is the Ivanhoe though. Elevation of eleven point seven. We'll go a bit more. We'll go to twelve. We'll get some high explosives loaded. Just for the wind a little bit. Obviously, I got something wrong there. I'll have to watch that back. <laughs> what happened there? All right, let's get out of the way of the torpedoes coming in from the. Um, so, hang on. If I adjust that, does that not adjust it for any other ship? No, they're the same. I must have just adjusted it wrong. Um, elevation is 7.9. Just, just got it wrong. Oh yeah, we did eight point two. No, seven point eight will probably be about right. Yeah. Well, maybe she's going for the Karlsruhe. We'll go. We'll go hard to port with the Karlsruhe. 
target her. Uh, 12.3. Uh, drop that down a bit. We'll go 12. A bit more than that. 12.5 because of the strong wind. Oh, it still wasn't enough. And destroy just come sailing up the middle and keep firing star shells. Oh, no, they are actually, in fact, going for the knives now. Ooh, okay. Oh, it could be, no, it could be the, um, it's not, is it? It's, it's the Prince Eugen they're going for. Um, where were we last time? We were... Yeah, we were incredibly short. What the hell happened last time? Oh, for some reason they reset it down to zero. I don't know why they did that. Must have actually kill it, clicked or dragged something. Did not notice that. Right, 9.3. Into the wind. Bye. I'm not half a mind to turn the Prince Eugen into them. Hopefully we get between the tor torpedoes. If not, we get struck by one, maybe. Right, so eight last time was wide. 7.2, so let's drop the down to 7.8. Still don't believe it. Bam. Well, maybe 7.2 would have been on the money. <laughs> Whoops. Hey, you can't win them all. Uh, 12.9. Bring the guns up. Let's have a look with the last. They were a lot. Fell a lot short last time. I'm actually going to go to 13.2. And still the wind is quite strong. Another star shell. That destroyer is now being literally demoted to star shell. Once one of them goes out. So engage the Prince Eugen with torpedoes, engaging the nice now with uh, guns. That's that's brave. That is brave. Right, where were we last time? We were short. Elevation of nine point two. Okay, that's not not that notched that up a couple more. Than the estimate. Got one here. Right, I can see the torpedoes. Let's continue to turn to port. Well, hopefully that'll be enough to dodge. Uh, elevation of five. Get five point two because I don't trust it. Fire. Nope, should have been five, 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 six, something like that. Still haven't got the directors in perfectly. Eleven point one is the estimate. We were long last time. I'm gonna have to start trusting it now. Maybe then they'll. Give you some more accurate. Okay, one measly hit. Fire another star shell. We keep the um, the area around the destroyer lit up. The Ivano is putting up a good defence actually, aided by my um, less than optimal attacking endeavours, but. Still, she's a little bit um, low at the front. Captain obviously wants a medal. 
9.5. I reckon it's now uh, 9.6, uh, 8.6. So if we go 8, 8. The I've no's gone. Alright, we'll just. A little bit starboard just to straighten up to get the the rear weight, the stern away from that torpedo. And we can start picking off these ships if we want to. 9.2. We go 9.3 with the wind. Nice. Fifteen point nine. Go sixteen six maybe. Close but no cigar. Eight. Still on. Right, I think we'll just sink merchants and withdraw. There we go. Enough time, enough time we could be there for another half hour easy. So the Ivano was sunk for 1370 tons. The C3 freighter was sunk for 8,000 tons. The large freighter for 7,800 tons. Uh, times three, times four, and another C3 freighter for 8,000 tons. So warship tonnage, 1370. Merchant tonnage, 47,200. A few shells used up, but the rest of the, uh, the task group are all okay. Meanwhile, down near the Canary Islands, the light cruiser Konigsberg with the two destroyers Z-17 and Z-5 have come across a big um, convoy with lots of tankers and only escorted by one destroyer, the Oribi. Let's get to it. She's feisty and she's attacking getting hits on straight away one of the destroyers. Look at those tankers. Ooh, right. Konigsberg. Target. There she is there. Boop. Now, do we have any... No, we don't have any aircraft. Right. High explosives. Elevation 16.4. There's virtually very light wind. Let's give it a few more beans. Let's give it 16.6. And we'll... Aim at the, at the bow and see where we go with that and calculate. Oh, it's looking good. Oh, that's just unlucky, that is. Just unlucky. Uh, 24 1. 24 3, there we go. Five. Hey, got a hit in. Nice. Sonar is offline on this one after it got struck. So it's time to uh, return the favour with a volley. 15.5. Uh, 15.7. 15.8. 15.9. 15.10. Uh, 15. Just sure. Destroyers getting a couple of hits against it. They won't be pleased. Where were we? Uh, 16 6 was long. Oh, okay, so what they reckon now? 14 6. Hmm. I'm going to go 15 1. Uh, 15 2. Good, some hits on target. Nothing much to report home, to be honest. But right, twenty-two point one. Go twenty-two five. Rightly, we we ignored what they said. Torpedoes in the water. 
Oh, they're going for the, uh, the light cruiser, are they? To stop us crossing the T of the convoy, maybe. It doesn't matter. I don't think we'll be here for that long. We'll turn next time. It's fine. 14.5. Uh, Seven. Oh, the rear gun's not able to get around, and we're far too long as it is. So, 19.9. That seems a little short, so we'll go 21. 20.1. Woo! Ho -ho! Right down the funnel. He didn't like that. He didn't like that, Mr. Mannering. Right, let's stop bringing that down. Let's maybe go to 18.7. Hey. You haven't lost us yet, boyo. Uh, let's drop that down to 12.6. Gonna fire at the same elevation. Yeah. Okay. Good. Pedo is going past without a bother. Fantastic. It's getting very. Oh, she's stopping to fight. Here we go. Because in all that smoke, she's been able to do her calculations perfectly. Brilliant. Love that. Right. Okay, let's switch attention back to the Ivanhoe then. Oh, sorry, the Oribi. Um, 12.6. 12, 12.7. 12, Bam. Right, maybe we'll engage with some... Um, Torpedoes. Uh, no, that's my own. Sorry. <laughs> Let's not do that. That's my own destroyer. Oh my goodness. Where's my coffee? Um, yeah, 18.2. Let's continue as we were, shall we? Let's continue as we were. They now reckon. 18.2, we were. Okay. So they reckon 19.6. I thought we were very close all of a sudden. And so that doesn't quite. My brain can't quite calculate that. Uh. Didn't quite get the down the funnel shot we had previously. Uh, 12.5, 12.5, they reckon 12.5 still. We'll go with 12.5 then. It's unlucky the way the shells are falling. Hard out to starboard. Let's get all the guns to bear on the Oribi. 12, where were we last time? 12.7, we were short, we've closed in. Okay, let's go 12 forward, split the difference. Oh! -ho! There we go. That's what we're talking about. <laughs> oh, how close we came to uh, a friendly fire disaster. Follow up with a couple of shots. Oh, there you go. That could be the killer blow. Yeah, there she goes. 12.5. Bit short, a bit short on that one. Ah, oh, got bored of that. So <laughs> we sunk the Oribi for sixteen ten. Uh, we then sunk one, two, three, four 
T2 tankers for 22,500 tons each. Large freighters for 7,800 tons. C2 freighters for 5,500 tons. Cumulatively, that's 1,610 warship tons, but 120,000 merchant tons sent down. All for a bit of light damage to Z5. And even not trying, we are obliterating them. <laughs> yeah, we, we... Yeah, we may need to ease up. We may need to ease up and send some of these ships back to port for a refit or something. Uh, because I fear that we may well uh, just exterminate the uh, the British and the Allied threat before it even begun. So, week 4 of June 1940, the Battle of the Atlantic. We have lost 20 naval vessels for 139,504 tons, no merchant vessels. The Royal Navy and Allies have lost 80 naval vessels for 5 596,285 tons and they've lost 577 merchant ships for 2.7 million tons almost 2.8 million tons allied merchants sunk per month 278,447 tons that's we're, we're destroying them and I don't want to destroy them and yet it's so easy to do at this point we've um We've hit so many of their capital ships, their their convoys are unescorted, so we might need to um we might have to do something drastic like move some of our U boats into non um convoy lanes. So you've got the convoy routes here, you can see where they're most busy. Maybe we'll just move our shipping away from those areas, so allow them to um get back. I don't know. I don't know. What do you thought? Thoughts in the comments section below, please. Do we just allow them... Should we just open up the convoy routes for a bit to allow them back in? Otherwise, we're going to be ending this way sooner than we wanted to. You know, we haven't really been going all out attack, and yet we've almost got them on their knees, and it's only June. God, if we were trying, we could have done it by now, which is the frightening bit. Um, and, of course, we're not using our full... We're only using 20 of 30 possible... Um, Navy ship places. So yeah, we could have another ten U-boats, another ten ships, or whatever, um, to bolster our fleet. But we're not. We've sort of held off for that to try and help out. So yeah. So thoughts in the in the comments below, please. Should we just open up the convoy routes for a bit to see? Um, June nineteen forty. So the Battle of Britain's going on at the moment. So they've got a lot of things going on. Maybe we can just open up and allow some shipping to come in to help them out a little bit, keep them going. I'm thinking that's probably one of the options we'll have to do. Anyway, we'll we'll decide that following your comments below. Thank you so much. Take care if you've uh, if you stumbled across us. Hello, welcome. Consider hitting that subscribe and tickling the bell so you get the uh, next video release update as well. And I'll see you very soon. Bye bye.